So, uh, hello everyone. Welcome to the status update for the OpenSUSE way. Uh, so, it, uh, OpenSUSE way was created a couple of years ago. It's uh, attention to have desktop environment based on Sway. And uh, I, I gave, gave first talk, I think, in 2020 here. And then last year, there, there was a virtual event. There was a virtual talk as well. That was a little bit more fun because there was a live demo and whatnot. So uh, I will have a links for that uh, uh, for you to watch. And since last year, there was not much progress, at least from my side, because I became a father of twins and had no time also switched my job from the SUSE to Percona, and uh, the last year was a little bit busy for me, so as an adult, I have a lot of excuses to do not things, right? <laughs> and Open SUSE Way is one of uh, down on the priority of what to do, but I am still keeping an eye trying to fix some bugs or react on the GitHub issues, etc. So, uh, what is Open SUSE? Why? Uh, OpenSUSE Way is an attempt to have desktop environment based on Sway. Sway is a tiling uh, Windows manager. Actually, it's Wayland uh, compositor, co compositor, right? So it's Wayland compositor that manages the Windows uh, and whatnot. So OpenSUSE Way is an attempt to provide the environment for people to start this uh, really easily. So uh, there is a configura configuration files, uh, the packages, patterns, and actually uh, also it's available during the installation. You can select OpenSUSE uh, way as the desktop environment. So it will install all the needed de dependencies, configurations, and themes. So you will have nice experience um, with Sway, right? How to start. It will pre-configure everything, and then you can take your dot files from this way, or maybe you do use i3, so you can uh, easily merge from i3 to Sway because it's completely compatible. What do you need is actually there is nice documentation. Uh, myself and other people prepared. There is the portal where you can go and figure out how to install it. So um, I think there is no connection. No, there is connection. So there is the portal where you can uh, find out all the details, what is inside of the OpenSUSE way, and how to install it. It's actually also installed, available on the installer as an installation, so you can, wh when you go through the installation process and go till the end, where that, in the beginning you choose the generic desktop, and when you go to the till the end, you can select different software, additional one, and you can go ahead and deselect X and select the OpenSUSE way. It's almost automated, so it will install the packages for you. But unfortunately, um, unfortunately, it will not uh, do everything. You still need some manual steps, and I will explain later why. So this is a good start for OpenSUSE way. If you would like to try, try it, or if you like Sway plain, there is also a wiki page about how you can do the plain Sway installation. The project itself, it's, uh, it lives under the GitHub OpenSUSE account, OpenSUSE report, so you, we are welcome you to submit PRs, issues, and also there was a suggestion to uh, open the discussions. I will do that after the talk, so this is a, was a really nice suggestion. Uh, to open the discussion. So this is what you essentially need to start with OpenSUSE way. Um, there are some issues with it, right? And uh, imperfections, so honestly, there are those issues we have uh, there. People do not really report Sway issues because uh, most, most of the time when you do use Sway as a Thailand Windows Manager, you are quite maybe advanced in the Linux or something, and uh, you solving your issues yourself, and then, okay, it works for me, I'm moving forward, and uh, just fixed, fixed for myself, and this was a good start for me, but I will not report the issue. I, my, I have the same scene, right? I did it a couple of times already, have fixed something on my computer and forgot to uh, 
push it back. But yeah, there are some imperfections for that. And the one of, uh, first one is installation that I mentioned. Um, the installation problem is that uh, in, this way, in open source way, we use uh, grid uh, D as the login manager. It's like quite la uh, lightweight login manager. So we use that. And unfortunately, my, myself, I do not really like the OpenSUSE approach of XDM being the main one, which installs the display manager service. And that service then used as the wrapper around the different login manager, the desktop uh, managers, display managers, or like GDM, etc. When you install GDM, it's actually uh, use update alternatives to set up itself uh, for display service. And I like kind of hesitate to go that way. I just do not like it. I like a little bit more Fedora approach when they have a system deep resets and they list different display, uh, display managers or like, login managers uh, on the way they're appearing. And then by default, your login manager or display manager will be enabled. And unfortunately for greedy, I don't have that. If anyone wants to contribute that or suggest some other method, I will be really appreciated. So this, that's why you need to actually enable GridD explicitly after the installation. And the, there is the documentation about it, but uh, yeah, that's, that's how it works currently. So uh, the SE Linux. SE Linux uh, problem I discovered recently. I tried the micro S desktop where SE Linux, I think, enforced, or maybe there is some... Uh, issues between SE Linux and the file system you use. So actually, GridD uh, failed on me. It started to crash. And it started to crash because it had not enough permissions uh, to spin the bash process. It used bash to authenticate itself with spam, and that was a problem. So uh, I think there is need so to create a C Linux profile for GridD, and that's not done yet. Another issue is the hard-coded pass. Grid D daemon is written in Rust, and there are a couple of issues available. I opened them upstream. Is that, that those passes are etc. Grid D or etc. Pump, and they are hard-coded. So I opened the issue for them to change that, to maybe provide the way, standard way for us in OpenSUSE to use user etc., which is used in the package, but unfortunately system uh, doesn't support uh, that. The way to work around PAM issue, PAM D issue, is to link etc PAM grid D file to the user etc PAM D grid D file. So that's, we have workaround, it's documented in the GitHub, but those two issues, if someone know Rust and want to contribute to grid D, that will be awesome contribution for OpenSUSE. Another, way, another issue is the config files. The config files usually are quite hard to manage because if we have uh, the system config files which are located in user etc or etc, but the ones that actually people care, they are located in your home catalog, they in your home directory during, under that dot .config uh, directory. And how to manage this? If there is any user service that could be used, it will be cool, for example, for people to automatically get it from GitHub or maybe some kind of configuration management for Sway. This is a problem. There is a couple of suggestions on GitHub, uh, but they need some care and love. Uh, someone needs to go and implement them. And what is the next step for OpenSUSE way? So remove those imperfections. We have, there, there are no known issues. We need to remove them, especially starting grid D as the daemon will be cool. And uh, uh, automatically, so that will be a full-blown desktop environment that's available during installation and it will work. And uh, I tried micro OS. Sway kind of works there, uh, but there are these tweaks with SE Linux and et cetera. So, but I think that micro OS desktop it's quite interesting system. It's disciplined you to understand what kind of software you install. Do you need this software or not? So I think MicroOS has a quite interesting conception, and we can do sway that because it's quite lightweight. And Fedora, uh, 
Neil asked me some in the last conference, like, can, I, can we do that for Fedora as well? So I, and I said, yes, so we can. And actually, I use, uh, install this, uh, the same thing on the Fedora, and it works. So it could be pretty much universal between the distributions. And I'm running out of time. If you have any questions, unfortunately, there's those links uh, out, but you can find this presentation on my talk. There is a link on my uh, event description. And we have GitHub for sure, and we also have right now Telegram chat. I shared the group in the uh, main OpenSUSE Telegram. So please contribute, ask your questions. Uh, if you're interested to improve the, this uh, desktop environment, issues, questions, uh, that's what I'm looking forward and other community members as well. That was status update. If you have any questions, I am around. Unfortunately, this is quite a short talk, but please approach me and I will try to answer them. Thank you.